And who are you dressed as today? Well, no, Zoro from One Piece. Why did you choose this character to dress up as? He was the easiest. <laughs> yeah, very easy. Okay. It's just two pieces of cloth, basically. Sakura from Windbreaker. Tsubaki from Windbreaker. What is Windbreaker about? I'm not familiar with it. It's all about high school uh, boys trying to find like himself when he got rejected by everybody in his family and he ended up in one of the schools full of delinquents. So you're not dressed as anyone, you come as your own design. Why this design? Well, I had the clothing already and I thought, you know what, last minute I've got a mask in my room so I decided let's throw it on and see how it goes and it's been going great. How is it wearing that mask? It feels like it might not be the most comfortable thing. To be honest, it is actually quite comfortable. I've got balaclava underneath so my mouth isn't rubbing against the mask. The only thing that it's resting on is the top of my forehead here and it's held on with my chin in the back of my head so it's actually alright. It does get a bit hot though. I'm wearing Nezuko from Demon Slayer. What made you choose that to wear today? My father was really, really supportive of my interest in anime and manga, and I lost him recently. So this is like having him around with me. That's nice. A nice memento of your, of your father. Who are you dressed at? Sukuna. Sukuna from JJK. Okay. Roanoa. Zoro. From One Piece. Izuku Midoriya. From My Hero Academia. Finn the Human. I'm Tanjiro. From. Demon Slayer. Inosuke Hashibiro. From Demon Slayer. Gear 5 Luffy. Joker. Nice. Which version of the Joker is this? Well, this is Joker from Persona 5, not from the DC Comics. What's Persona 5? It's a JRPG where you basically you play as you play in a school life, but you also have other things where you do things outside of school, sort of like superhero kind of thing. Uh, Violet from Persona 5. Okay. And why did you dress as, as Violet? To match with my fiance who was playing Joker. Nice. So yeah, little couples kind of cosplay. What got you into anime and gaming? A lockdown okay. and my sister and because I was bored and I had no friends so it was just like you made some friends now the weekly Dragon Ball episodes that came on I, I just had to watch them and it just got me into it I have to big up the channel kicks for streaming all the anime that's what got you into it yes sir okay. uh, older sister when I was young uh, because I live in, in Hong Kong and there's lots of anime in the TV Sunday and the weekend I can watch a lot so I involved in all Japanese culture <laughs> that's why I, I like Anyway, gaming has been a long line. Like back when I was about six, I was playing on the 360 with my brother, and that got me into it while playing Call of Duty Ghost. And then anime, I watched My Hero Academia to get myself into anime, and then I've just been going since then. There was nothing else on the TV at the time because they just used to repeat the same shows. Game Cross Naruto, didn't like it, grew to like it. That's that, man. When I was five, I noticed that the cartoons and anime was like very, very different. I was like, oh, that's pretty, I like it. Let me start watching it. And I went from Pokemon to Naruto to One Piece. I've, I've seen a lot. I've been watching since I was five. I would say gaming, Smash Bros. Melee on the on the GameCube. I still remember Master Hand was the first boss I ever beat as a kid, ever, as probably Mario. And for anime, Naruto on Toonami, like a lot of us from the early 2000s. Toonami, believe it or not, sitting down with my grandma that probably had no idea what the heck's going on on the screen. But nonetheless, anime is kind of thing you can enjoy with people that don't understand it and they'll still enjoy it. I've always been a gamer. My dad played video games, so I always watched him play Call of Duty Zombies, loved that. Um, but what got me into anime was the first anime I ever watched was on YouTube. It was Kiss Him, Not Me. It was just one of those like making fun of like those stereotypes of the girl, all these guys falling in love with the girl. And that's how I got into it. And I, I thought it was really funny. I I really enjoyed it, I really liked the style and then I just kind of from there just started watching more and more and that's how I kind of got into it. I started cosplaying when I was like 12 and it just got me into watching anime I guess. Wow. Why did you start cosplaying at 12? That's a young age. I don't know, I just really liked putting on fancy makeup and wigs. It was just fun. Fitness, DBZ and after like that just introduced me to everything. Anime for me is such a, because like I used to live in the Philippines and growing up it's always on the TV. In our Filipino dub. Then when I grew up and then internet came in, computers came in so I was just like okay this is a good watch so I started but I mainly like read manga before I get into anime. I have been watching anime since I was a baby actually. Baby? Like, yes. <laughs> I come from West Africa. My mom used to show me one of those little anime, like Japanese, French anime, like Tsubaki or something like that. So I've always known anime. But I started watching them since my preteen. So it's always been part of my life, to be fair. Where from West Africa are you from? Cameroon. Cameroon, nice. Yes. Nigerian, I'm Nigerian. Oh, okay. I, know. Okay. Um, I just watched uh, One Piece and I've been continuing to watch other animes and that's about it. What's the most overrated anime character of all time? Goku. Goku. People are gonna be mad at me for that one. I'm mad at you for that. Why, why Goku? I just feel like every time he's in trouble, he's just like, power friendship, I'm gonna level up to a new level randomly. Power friendship is used a lot in, in anime. Alright. Goku. 
Second person who said that, I love Goku, why is he overrated? Mate, he's just, he's on your shirt, isn't he? Like, come on. So I get you like him, but you know. What's so hype about him? This man screams for a living. <laughs> and then shoots out magical beans. If you want to see magic, go Harry Potter. <laughs> Enough. My best friend is gonna hate me for saying this, but like Yagami, I understand that he was supposed to be portrayed as a villain, quote unquote, but just the way he goes about things and the hype that he gets is just like, no, I don't agree. Just <laughs> no, I, just, I think like Yagami. Certain men are glazing JJK right now. What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a great show, but certain people are, you know, glazing. So even they take it too far? Yep. Like okay. Yeah, it's an amazing show. 10 10 Shonen, but you're doing too much, bro. Okay. He can't be Goku. <laughs> I think Naruto. I just couldn't finish it. Like, because Rock Lee is the only character. You want to be Rock Lee, Rock Lee's him. And then you just started seeing less and less Rock Lee. It's just disappointing. I would say Jujutsu Kaisen. It's good, but I think it gets hyped because it's new and it's not that great compared to other shonen. Gojo Satoru from JJK. I don't know, he's just, he's not all that. He is ass. I would say Goku, technically, because everybody knows him. Well, it got to be One Piece. Because it's overrated because a lot of people watch it and then everyone is like hyping on it. And then, you know, like those new people who's just got into anime they'll be like oh that's too long but I probably have to say Demon Slayer even though I love it but compared to many other anime uh, the storyline is let's say it's basic and what really saved it is the cool animation I'm gonna get some slack for this One Piece I think that like obviously it put a lot of hard work into it the style is just not for me I don't like to speak for everybody but personally the girls look all the same, they're the same body type, except for the really huge one with the pink hair. It doesn't pull me in, and I can't even watch one episode. Yeah, the story is just like, what? It's so vague. Like, we're just pirates cruising through, looking for some treasure. That doesn't pull me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate you on that, okay. I will say Spy X Family. I find that if it was just uh, Yor and Lloyd, I found their moments enjoyable, but Anya is so annoying. I don't know how everyone loves her. She's just so annoying. I actually watched the English dub, which was a mistake at first, because her English VA, no hate to her English VA, I'm sure she's great. It's just I found Anya to be a very annoying character and I just couldn't really, I, I only watched up to episode three and I just couldn't do any more because it went back to like Anya being kind of like the main focus and I, I just couldn't really get into it and I do believe it's just so overrated. I see so many like just Anya, Anya, Anya. I'm like, what about you and Lloyd? They're great characters. I, I think they're pretty great and I wish more focus was on them, to be honest. If you could date any video game or anime character, who would it be and why? Does Ryan Reynolds count? Because technically he's Deadpool, and Deadpool has a game and an anime after him. Are you gay? No, I'm bisexual. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So you go with Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. As, as Ryan Reynolds or as Deadpool? Both. 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 Okay, fair enough. What's that one chick from Mortal... No, not Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. With the blue... Is, what's her name? Chun Li? Chun Li? Yeah. Are you a lesbian? I'm bisexual. Okay. <laughs> Second person today! As a heterosexual guy, I can see why, but from your perspective, why? She's got back. Alright, cool. She's got back. Nice. Minecraft Steve. Why? Minecraft uh, Steve? Wait, wait, what? Actually, you, Alex. Alex from Minecraft. You would date Alex from Minecraft Steve? Okay. Yeah. Um, you gay? No. Okay. Is Minecraft Steve a guy? Jeez, uh, wherever he wants to be. Okay. When he's in creative mode, he's nothing. Why would you date him? His blocky features. <laughs> Maybe it might have to be Mirko from My Hero. The bunny hero. Uh, oh, miracle. She's too bad. No explanation needed. He stole my answer. Miracle. Bad as hell. <laughs> Fire. Diamond. Melanated. Queen. My goodness. Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy. See, dating her, you'd get the ability to tra so, like, just travel to different planets. Cold. And you're pretty much a king. Well, I have a husband, okay. so okay. Okay. I can't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's why I've always been too bad about asking that question. I appreciate you, you saying that. That's fine. We can move on. I need a lawyer for that question. <laughs> why? What are you trying to do? Um, uh, next question. Should I can't answer that one. Can't lie to you. There's baddies in so many animes, but I think Bleach might have the best. So, Nels adult form. You got a Richie. You no, know I like the fashion. I like the fashion. Like, I just like the designs. Like I'll say like Urza, Scarlet from Fairy Tale. I have a whole catalog. So wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your most favorite one? Ichigo Kurosaki, yeah. Bleach. Why? Well, I've always been a fan of Bleach and I really like this character development. It's one of the most realistic and close to my age as well. For me, it got to be my childhood crush as well, which is Kakashi Sensei from Naruto, yeah. He's so cool. He's 
whole character, whole aura is so just cool. I know you got a few on today, but if you could date one video game character, who would it be and why? Kasumi from Persona 5, because my fiance is dressed as her today. Okay, okay, yes. That's a good answer. Yes. That's a good answer. <laughs> well done, well done. Ichigo from Beach. He's just a really nice down to earth guy. Someone who wouldn't like pick on you or anything. Just really nice, friendly guy who really cares about his family, and I think that's important. So he's just a great character. I really like him. What's the weirdest thing you've done in cosplay? I choked someone out with my thighs. What did he say? Hey. Oh. <laughs> what were you dressed as? Izumi Miyamura from Holy Mai, one of my favorite animes. Was this a, a, a sexual act? No, I don't think so. So how did you end up choking this person out with your thighs? So basically, someone bet them 20 quid that they couldn't get someone, a lad to choke them out by the thighs. So they came up to me and was like, here's a tanner, choke me out with your thighs. So I was like, tanner's a tanner, innit? So, choke someone out with your thighs. And what was their reaction? At first, they were laughing and sh but then he got a bit flustered and I was like, alright, that's it now. That was, I wasn't expecting that, cool. This is my first cosplay, so yeah. Okay. Probably for me, Sailor Moon. No, <laughs> I can't for, I, I, I want to forget it because I was too young and the whole costume is so sexualized. I don't know if I can say it, but yeah, every time that I go back and see the photos, I was like, no way I'm doing this too much. But shout out to my sister who dressed me as a Sailor Moon during those times. I'm personally too embarrassed to walk out into with my cosplay anywhere other than a con. If I, I always bring a bag, I change in the bathrooms here. I guess changing the bathrooms at a con is the weirdest thing I've done in cosplay, I guess, technically. It's not PG-13, I don't think I can say that. So bedroom activities? Yeah. <laughs> Like that. Who are you dressed as? Sakuna Ryoman. And was it with a guy or girl or that multiple? Okay. No, mul not multiple, bro. Okay, okay, I'm not. okay. okay. Yourself? Aside from coming topless to, to anime convention. Actually, two girls once asked to squeeze my, my chest. I thought that's pretty normal, man. And did they? Of course! Free the nipple. And what happened after that? They ended up on my shoulders. Not in the bedroom, just on my shoulders, isn't it? PG, PG. <laughs> Child of God. <laughs> I got asked to step on someone for some reason and get stepped on. What I, part of, you, of them did you step on? I didn't. Okay. I was like, no. Did you get stepped on? No. Okay. I respect that. This, this is the first time I've ever cosplayed. Also, this, this is the first time I'm cosplaying too. The weirdest thing I've done in cosplay is get sturdy. You want to get sturdy now? No. Okay. <laughs> this All is right. sort of my first time in cosplay. Who would win in the fight? Homeland or Omni-Man? Omni-Man. He smacks him. Strength. Speed, experience. Omni Man. I can agree with that, Omni Man. Don't know, don't care. Omni Man. I just think he's more raw. I've seen this thing called Death Battle where they did it and everything, and I, I agreed with what they said. Omni Man is just, he's a whole other beast. I like the comparison. I think it's a good matchup in terms of the superhero, the uh, anti hero kind of thing where they're actually evil a little bit. But yeah, I think Omni Man's way stronger. I think he would destroy Homelander. Omni Man, honestly. I think he's generally stronger. Yeah, I just think he's better. Omni Man. I mean, come on. Omni Man. 100%. Uh, super strength. I mean, he has every kind of power, really. Yeah, everybody that has Gen V, like Soldier Boy, can kind of be face to face with him. As long as someone has Gen V, they can know all of them. Yeah, Omni Man. Omni Man would finger Homelander and destroy him. <laughs> Omni Man. It's not, even, it's not even like a debate. Like, it's literally just like harassment at that point because it's just. A brutal beating. Omni Man is cooking that boy like Sunday roast. <laughs> yeah, boy. Omni Man. You've never seen Homelander leave Earth. Omni Man can just like travel places on his once yeah. and smoke everyone, so. Flawless victory. Omni Man versus Superman. Oh, most of these characters are based off of each other, but I'm gonna say Superman. Just did more feats of strength, turned back time, all that stuff. Omni Man struggled to destroy a planet. Classic Superman was out here sneezing away galaxies. Let's have manners, let's have manners, please. Come on. Yeah, it's not the base, Superman, 100%. It's definitely Superman. Omni Man, still. He's just got, like, he's big, man, he's strong. Relax. Superman just flies. Okay. I don't get it. Superman, every single day, all day long, Superman is stronger. Facts. Superman can take a sh on Omni Man's face and he wouldn't be able to do anything. So, Superman. <laughs> I feel like Omni Man is smart and he knows what Kryptonite is, so. Okay. Yes. That's the best answer we've had today. <laughs> Nobody's mentioned that. <laughs> Omni Man probably would find Kryptonite and shove it down Superman's throat. So, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good one. Well done. Superman wins. Who'd win the fight between Wonder Woman Ooh. and Captain Marvel? I have to say Wonder Woman because I don't know a lot about Captain Marvel, but Wonder Woman is just, she has the, the lasso of truth. Like, she's just so strong. She was like the first kind of woman superhero that showed you that women can be just strong and they're like, she's in, I think she's like an Amazonian warrior. Like, she's just, she's always been like out of my favorite, like, female superhero. She's always been my favorite. She's so iconic. Her, her look is amazing. Well, it's Captain Marvel, like, some basic blonde person like come on like we're like well, we're trying to create new heroes or whatever and we make it look like pretty much like everyone else but um, Wonder Woman has that beautiful hair she's just gorgeous and 
I think she would win, you know? Okay. Not because of like, you know, I don't know about Captain Marvel's power, but I just feel like Wonder Woman's iconic. You can't let her lose. A DC one. You think Wonder Woman would win? Yes. Why? A beautiful and stronger. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I don't want to get hate, but I'm, I might have to say Wonder Woman. Okay. Simply because like her, her like lasso of truth, like maybe she could just like say, um, oh, tell me what your weakness is and then go from there. This one's difficult because Wonder Woman fights Superman on a regular. Wow. Captain Marvel has the binary form, so it could be quite difficult. I don't know. Wow. The, the binary form, that's something like the power up, you oh, know? Okay. It starts glowing and all the power, power. Wonder Woman, easy. Why? Have you seen Captain Marvel? She's just worse. I'm sorry. But the way they introduced her into the Marvel Universe, first off, horrendous. Second off, how dare you put those two in a category together? Like, she's easily gonna, Wonder Woman's gonna walk her easy any day. Wonder Woman can't fly. Don't matter. She's got the power of gods. What's Captain Marvel got? Some star. Ooh, big, big thing, yeah? She's half, a half god, right, Wonder Woman. So I have to take that into consideration. When I watched the last um, Endgame movie, I would say, like, Wonder Woman is smarter than Captain Marvel, so I would give it to Wonder Woman. Just because she knows how to use her power. Captain Marvel. She is the Captain Marvel. What's Wonder Woman gonna do? Lasso. I don't know, but she can lasso me, man. Any day. Any day she can lasso me. Oh, all right. I honestly don't know, but I think Wonder Woman. She's DC, like, DC is naturally just stronger. Captain Marvel, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen much of her, but I'm pretty sure she's like a, a very powerful character in the universe. For me, I'd probably say Captain Marvel, because she could fly and she does have a hell of a lot of powers. But Wonder Woman is meant to be immortal, so that kind of makes it difficult. But who knows? Who knows? Wonder Woman wins. Okay, subtitle or dubbing? Sub, there's no other way than going traditional Japanese, is it? If you're not watching the true thing, then you're not getting the full experience. That's how I see it. Like, I watch dub here and there, but you know, better in sub. Sub. Okay, to be fair, definitely sub if English is the only option. Because, uh, like, the voice actors are a bit repetitive. It doesn't necessarily match the character. Most of the time you have kids having teenagers kind of adult voice, so it's a bit cringe and, like, Come on, Japanese is the best. But when it's French, because I'm a French native and I started manga or anime in French, sometimes I'm a bit weak, so yeah. Definitely sub. I love subtitles. Probably just because this is the original. You know, like when they animate it, like the way they open their mouth, the way they shout, like their things, their powers and stuff like that. So I think it just makes more sense when it's in Japanese. Just because I want to learn Japanese, I do prefer subtitles however I will say this I've watched a while back uh, because it was the only thing available to me one piece in French and so long as the voice acting is you are able to appreciate that I think it doesn't really matter what language it's in so long as you the message can come across I will say a while ago the dub was not the best but now they've improved so either or I prefer sub but I don't mind either way with the subtitle because I know Japanese. Really? Yes. And you speak Japanese? Yes, I speak Japanese. What do you speak? I'm studying Japanese. Yeah, I speak Japanese. If you look at my videos, you'll see that I have some in Japanese. Oh. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you would like help in how to communicate with Japanese people and communicate with people from around the world, sign up to my Patreon where I can give you tips about how I learned Japanese myself, how I've made friends with lots of Japanese people, how I'm able to do street interviews in Japanese with Japanese people. Sign up to the Patreon for exclusive access and help with your Japanese journey. And back to the video. The answer is sub, but the only exceptions are Dragon Ball and Ghibli films. Everything else you need to watch in sub. I'm going to have to go dub. Sometimes it can be just a bit like, uh, but then the majority of the time, like Sean Schemmel for Dragon Ball. Valid. And then some other ones. Yes, sir. They just, they're just, I, I can't. Yeah, Goku's voice in, in Japanese is mad, but you get used to it so quickly. Exactly. I'm a dub all the way. I stand on it. Oh, yes. I don't. You just hate Japanese? <laughs> no, it's not even that. I think it's a beautiful language, but I don't speak it. Like, what am I supposed to do? When I look away, I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm confused. Reading the subtitles. Don't look away. I forget sometimes, bro. It's hard. Okay. It's Fair difficult, enough. man. Fair uh, depends on the anime. 100%. Okay. With One Piece, I'm watching it in sub. Everyone's gonna hate me, but dub is just better. I like to eat and watch my shows. Okay. One person said, the reason the other guy said it was because sometimes he looks away and he, does, he still wants to know what's happening when he looks away. Exactly. I don't, people keep saying it's more authentic, but you wouldn't read a manga in Japanese because it's, that's what already written in. I would. You read it in English because you can understand it and it's much better. Subtitle. Um, a couple shows, I specifically like dub, like Bleach, Dragon Ball, I think they're superior that way, Naruto. But there's some shows that's just objectively, I think, more superior, but I don't judge anyone. Fair-minded. Subtitle because there are a lot of great dubs 
I started off with watching dubs, but subtitle, you you can't, the Japanese voice actors just do such a great job that I've had to, I've been watching something in English and I've had to switch over to Japanese because the English voice actors don't sound right or they're just not doing a great job or they, they like to change wording sometimes or the way characters' names, I just think that's so unnecessary, so I'd say the Japanese is obviously superior. Subtitles. Oh, it's difficult. I just like that it's like original Japanese and it lines up. Every day, sub, although I would definitely say now Days. There are some good dubs, but it's gotta be sub man. There's more passion in the voice. I do both depending on the anime, but most of the time, like if I'm just like watching it to watch it, I would watch dub. What's the cringiest thing you've seen at anime convention? I'm gonna get hated on for this, but the amount of people who come is Hatsune Miku. It just nah. I can't do Hatsune Miku. So who is that? It's like this Vocaloid character or something. My mates are all into it, and I'm just like, mate, it's an AI. I could do that. Like I could literally go on to in this, that and the other website and write out a song. What, what's this so hype about when there's actual people with talent yeah. who can do that? I've seen like a couple dressing Nesuko and Tanjiro and then they were like so like sweet together so it's kind of like because they're dressed up as uh, siblings I don't think oh, like... Oh stop it, they're siblings and it was just a, and they're a couple? Yeah! Oh, oh. They're siblings, like in anime they're siblings but in real life they're couples. We and then they start doing PDA so yeah, that is so cringe. Yeah, the kind of thing that will mess up your mind. Have you seen Cats the Musical? Oh, I, I, I saw like a bunch of people oh. like pretending to be oh, actual cats, like, like skin tight suits. I'm pretty sure I saw a litter box. So I walked away as soon as I saw that. Wow. Were well, they crawling on the floor and everything? Yeah, or for it was crazy. It was Where was this? Comic Con. Wow, that's crazy. Guys and girls? Yeah, but uh, guys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually saw this today. So we were sitting there while these guys were doing their podcast thing on the stage and they were asking people, what's your favorite anime? They were trying to basically, there were two guys in Spider-Man suits trying to take this out of the whole thing, trying to be like, oh, my hero academia and just, you know, half-assing it, just taking the piss out of it. So I went up there and I told them it's not cool to make fun of anime and you guys should go somewhere where you belong instead of here. Nice. So yeah, I think what's something that's really cringe is people that come to cons to embarrass people and to make people ashamed of the culture yeah. when we're here to celebrate it. We're not here for people to talk down on us. We've had that our whole life for liking anime yeah. and for liking games. I don't need somebody in a Spider-Man suit telling me what I should like. I think it was last year when I was here when me and my fiance were sitting down just watching the show. We're just chilling, kind of just, you know, minding our own business. This girl came up and just started touching his props, touching his like stuff and it's just I don't think that's appropriate especially if you know that you're the type of person that's very touchy-feely you should let people know just don't go grabbing up touching them you know my fiance was very polite about it and be like oh can you give me some space but I just don't think that's appropriate I think it's pretty cringy just to think that you can touch on someone's props and like near their private area that's just not okay. Wait, like, she was touching all pots on props that were the on his body. Well, it was like a prop was on him and she's like try to grab it and he's like, whoa, like, uh, I need some space. I just, that was very cringy and just unacceptable and we should just all respect each other's boundaries and stuff yeah. pretty much. Oh, I've seen some guy like... Walk around with his shirt off. Like, yeah, no, yeah, I'm <laughs> no, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I saw some guy like touching some girl up who was in a bikini. Oh, it were was... they together or not? No, she was like, being like, oh, you can, you can touch. And I was like, what the f Wow, okay. Which anime convention was that? Just asking for a friend. MCM. MCM, okay. <laughs> It's the furries, man. When I just see them run around after each other and just pulling at each other's tails and stuff, I'm like, nah, man, not on that. People getting walked with a leash. Yeah, it's a little weird. I think, no. No? Okay. No, no it's, it's perfect. Okay, okay. I like the vibe, the okay. people. Okay. Yes, yeah, really nice. I, I, I can't find the real things okay. there. There are people out there who think anime, cosplay, gaming, it's all weird, these conventions are weird. What do you have to say to those people? Nah, bro, like, if you want to, like, it gives you something to fight for. If the character's doing everything that you want to be able to do, it gives you hope, like, generally, like, just try it. Bro. Not, don't knock it before you try it. I mean, at I, I first when I started doing it, I thought it was weird, but it's about coming out of your comfort zone. You're not gonna grow if you stay in your comfort zone, innit? So that's why I did it. Off, straight. Succinct to the point. I'd ask them what they do first, and then depending on what they tell me, well, pretty much anything they say, I'll just say, well, that's weird to me. So, you know, how are you gonna disrespect on something like this that I enjoy doing when I can't disrespect on something you're enjoying doing? Like all them like road men out there who are enjoying going around doing all this bad stuff and that. That's weird to me. Like why do you want to go and hurt people when all I'm doing is putting on some 
clothing and going having fun with a couple other people thousands of other people who do it and people in other communities should learn how to do like treat each other like we do no judgment it yeah. do what you want and don't get hurt here is a safe place for us lot and no one's gonna do anything we've there's few issues but they get sorted like that i would say that they miss on something because anime like any other um, art genre uh, brings something it's so rich it's so diverse there's literally anime about everything you might think of like from sports romance action i have seen an anime about cooking about how to make mangas those kind of things so again it's missing on a lot of things and personally i have learned a lot through animes uh, as i grew up uh, life lessons and you know like new things i want to try so it's not weight it's just another genre that you should try really and also probably those people who are saying that it's weird they didn't even try so please guys try watching anime so or reading manga is good I say times are changing people used to be uh, many more people used to think that but now these cons are going bigger and bigger and like yeah just becoming more economic a bit more money into it uh, everyone says that until they actually read or watch it and then their minds get changed so anyone who says that should watch Attack on Titan and then there we go okay. they'll change their opinion okay. just give it a try if you like it you like it if you don't you don't I'd say that like it's a bit of fun just enjoy yourself but if you don't like it keep your opinion to yourself yeah you just gotta start it and then once you start, you'll, you'll just get more and more invested. I changed someone's opinion recently. I would say grow up, grow a pair, and expand your mind a little bit because you're holding yourself back from a lot of a great community. Sure, there's the bad spots, but it's overall a great community, very helpful community. You will meet friends if you put yourself out there, and I don't think that it's as bad as people say. I think a lot of people that talk trash have never been. I would just say you're a basic you know, you're sitting there in your house that looks basic, you're wearing a basic ass outfit when you got all these people like, like even if you just wear a nice little anime shirt, you, you look cooler than other people. I look in the street and I'm like, oh that guy has a house moving castle shirt. You look way cooler than everyone else and it's like, if people truly look down on that stuff, it's like, what are you truly interested in? Because you must not have much of a personality if you look down or hate people who just are trying to enjoy themselves and have a good time. So I would just say they're basic, pretty much. Well, everybody is weird. Like, it comes back to the note I said earlier, like, everybody's unique, nobody. If we were all the same, it would be boring as hell. So I think that the fact that everybody can come together as a community and enjoy different fandoms or the same fandoms is really, really nice. Instead of like feeling alone and like, no, nobody else likes this, just me. This is really, really nice. So who cares? Just enjoy what you enjoy. Hi everyone, my name is Cody and I'm embarking on an exciting challenge going from 100 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in one month. I need your help to achieve this. I am a YouTuber, I make great exciting videos, traveling, asking people about hot topics. You can check out my videos, subscribe, follow, share and like. Let's hit this target of 10,000 subscribers in one month. Together we can do this, let the internet unite and let's make this happen.